Hey guys, so I'm finally reviewing the Hero Vision Iron Man. Now for some reason, like every time I was gonna review him, I kept finding like some newer and super cool toy and I, I kept bumping him. So for those of you guys who are like, you know, eagerly waiting for his review, that that's, that's my bad, y'alls. Um, sorry. But it's getting reviewed now, so yay! Yes! Now for some reason, Iron Man was really hard to find with a good paint job. Like the other figures were pretty much, I mean, easy to find good paint jobs, but him is just like, I think I went through like seven of them before I found a good one. Like, you know, the face and the body that, it was just, it was, just, it was really sad. I don't understand why Iron Man was so hard to find a good paint job. But it doesn't matter because I have them now, which means I have finally completed the entire wave one of the Avengers Infinity War Hero Vision figures. But anyways, you guys have been waiting for this review, so let's get this review started. Starting with the front, we got the usual big old window and the Hero Vision stuff. I do like the picture of Iron Man there though. Here's one side and the other side. Here's the top. Here's back with the nice glam shot of Iron Man and the other figures that I have also reviewed and his bottom with a UPC and there he is guys the final wave one hero vision figure and starting with the head, we get the pretty much typical Iron Man head sculpt. He has some nice sculpting and of course the hot rod red all over the back of his head. And he has a nice shiny gold on his face. And like I said before, I really do like these little extended cheekbones there. They look pretty cool and are very unique to the Mark 50 armor. Now for some reason the gold on his face was really hard to find a good one. Like I always found ones that had flaws or little things just... It just wasn't nice and I had to go through seven of them, like I said, to find a good one. So definitely be careful for that when you're looking at him. Plus his eyes too, sometimes his eyes are a little wonky, but he's pretty cool here with his nice blue. And moving on down to the body, we get the cool new suit. I really dig this Mark 50 suit design. It has a lot of line sculpting that gives it that kind of organic and alien look, which is pretty sweet and definitely very different from his other suits that we've seen. I really like the gold accents that they added here too. It's got a nice shiny shimmeriness to it, plus it's pretty well applied too and there's very little bleeding. I like the shape of the arc reactor too, but all they did was put a blue paint on there doesn't really look like it's glowing. It would have been cooler if maybe they used like a sticker or something that had the glowing effect. That would have been better. Same thing for these little uh, button things that are supposed to be glowing. So, uh -huh. And here's a look at the back for you, which has surprisingly much more sculpting detail than the front. Like, substantially more. I mean, just look at all those awesome sculpting lines. Plus, it has more of that awesome gold accenting going on there as well, which is pretty sweet even more down here as well. They put a lot of sculpting detail into the arm as well. It's just a really detailed suit and they really emulated it nicely with all the sculpting that they added to it. Although there's not too much paint, all you really get is this little silver sliver right here and a little bit of gold right there and then some gold on his hand there. It would have been nice if they put some, you know, blue paint into his arc reactor blaster hand there, even though it's just blue paint. It still would have been cooler. The paint is the same on the other side as well, although this one wasn't quite as cleanly applied. It's kind of messy there, but the hand is pretty good there. But his elbow does take the win compared to the other Hero Vision figures. Now, aside from these little annoying plastic molded flaring things here, when you close the elbow, it actually lines up with the top portion and the bottom portion and it completely disappears aside from the line obviously but it creates that nice little like elbow joint there and it just it looks sweet they did a good job on that I mean look at that so cool hidden elbows yeah and he has one blasting pose hand there and the other one's in the fist so that he can hold his little bladey thingy accessory these fingers are really soft too and they didn't skimp on the legs either the sculpting is just as nice and detailed as the top and it's just such a detailed suit. It's just amazing that they captured a lot of that detail, which is great. Although I think the lower leg actually has much more detail than the upper thigh, which is kind of interesting, especially the back there, as you can see. Either way though, it still looks awesome all together. Although the only paint you do get is just on the thighs there, but it is that nice shiny gold along with that little blue highlight there. A Little bit of silver, some more silver there, and then he's got some paint on his upper and here's a much closer look at his shoe if you want to take a look at that or I don't, I don't know if it's a shoe it's just armor but yeah you, you know what I mean and here's the bottom of his feet with the Lego jumbo some peg holes and they even sculpted the little circles for his rocket boosters there which is pretty cool and now for the articulation his head rotates a full 360 degrees has a decent amount of up and down movement and it pops off just like all the other figures so you can actually put different heads on it we should go with my plan. And his arm rotates a full 360 degrees and has a really nice shoulder joint that really overextends, which is awesome. His elbow rotates up, but not too far down because of that little piece right there. But it does rotate a full 360 degrees. But he does have great leg extension. Look at that. Full splits. 
Woo! Now it comes with this really cool arm cannon blaster bladey thingy. I'm not sure what it is exactly, but it has tons of details on it. It almost looks like something from like the Covenant from Halo, you know, like those alien guns that they had. So that's kind of that's kind of interesting. It's that organic alien look, but it does have a nice little gold on there. Beam rifle. That's what it looks like. It looks like the beam rifle from Halo. Now it has this cool clear blaster effect up here in the front. I thought this was gonna like shoot out like spring loaded or something, but like there's no button or anything like that. So it's just it's really just stuck on there. So that that was kind of disappointing. I thought this was a button at first, but it's not. It's just I I really have no idea what this is for. Maybe it's for some sort of you know team up. Thing or something, you know, like Power Rangers style. Go, go, Power and he comes with a Time Stone, which is my first and only Time Stone, so I'm pretty excited about that. And he comes with a Time Stone, which is my first and only Time Stone, so I'm pretty excited about that. Oh, sh And it sticks onto the back of the Blade Blaster thingy, just like so. Ta da! Yeah, that looks kind of weird, actually. I don't think that's any better. And it just attaches to his hand, like so. Wow, that's really long. It's almost like a hazard or something. Hey guys, how's it going? Look at my new arm. He said, whoops, sorry. Oh, but whoops, oh, whoops, oh, 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 sorry. All right, now let's go and do some comparisons. Here he is next to my newly acquired and favorite cost baby Thanos, the Iron Spidey Funko Pop, my usual Thor Ragnarok Marvel Legends, and finally, a can of Coke. Well guys, this finally completes the entire wave one of the Avengers Infinity War Hero Vision figures. And I have to say, I'm really impressed overall at the details and quality you get for the $10 price point. Now I'm eagerly awaiting wave two as much as you guys are, and as soon as I find them, you know those reviews will start rolling out. But in the meantime, I still have my Infinity War cost babies to review, as well as the Iron Man Funko Pop. Now there's still plenty more Infinity War toys out there, and I'm not sure if I'll grab those, or review some Incredibles 2, or something else while we wait for wave two of Infinity War Hero Vision, so we'll just have to see. Anyways guys, if you like this review, then you know what to do. Stay tuned for more Infinity War tour reviews, and as always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace!